Wolber by Leslie Helikoski. Pictures by Lee Harper. Wolber had a little bit of trouble with the herd today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. I don't want to stand still with the sheep, said Wolber. I ran with the dogs instead. But those dogs are half wild, said Pa. I know, said Wolber. Isn't it great? They'll run circles around you, said Ma. I know, said Wolber. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. Wilbur had a little bit of trouble in the shearing barn today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. I don't want to shear my wool, said Wilbur. Being woolly feels nice. But it's springtime, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Your wool is so long, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. Wilbur had a little bit of trouble carting wool today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. I carted my own wool, said Wilbur. No more tangles. But sheep don't cart wool on their bodies, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? You look so different, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. Wilbur had a little bit of trouble spinning today said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. I rode around on the spinning wheel, said Wilbur. It was fun. But spinning is not supposed to be fun, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Your yarn is all loopy, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. Wilbur had a little bit of trouble dyeing wool today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. Instead of dyeing the yarn, I dyed myself, said Wilbur. I like experimenting. You look unbelievable, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? It will never wash out, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. Wilbur had a little bit of trouble weaving today, said Ma. What happened, asked Pa. I put my head in the loom, said Wilbur, to weave my forelock. But that's not what you were shown, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? It's unheard of, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. Finally, Ma and Pa took Wilbur aside and said, You must follow the flock, dear. It is what we sheep do. From now on, you will stay with the herd like everyone else. You will shear wool like everyone else. You will card wool like everyone else. You will spin wool like everyone else. You will dye wool like everyone else. You will weave wool like everyone else. Oh, said Wilbur. He thought and thought all night long. And from then on, he taught everyone to run with the dogs, to let their wool grow, to card their own wool, 
to spin crazy yarn, to experiment with color, and to weave their forelocks. Ma and Pa put their heads in their hooves and sighed. Wilbur does not think like we do, said Ma. Uh, no, said Pa. Now everyone looks like Wilbur and acts like Wilbur, said Ma. Uh, no, said Pa. How will we ever find him? Don't worry, said Grandpa. The end. Isn't it great? <laughs>